Welcome to HA Statistics. The title of this talk is Data That Counts, Using Data to Transform, Empower, and Reimagine the Future of Education. The aim of this talk is to provide an overview of the wide range of data and statistics available on the HA website, and we would encourage everyone to scan the QR code below and take a look. So firstly, who are the students in higher education in Ireland? In the latest year, there were over 246,000 students in Ireland, and this is up 0.3% from the previous year. 55% identified as female and 45% identified as male. Overall, we find that 10% of students are coming from disadvantaged areas, while 19% are coming from affluent areas. By domiciliary, 88% of students are Irish domiciled, while 12% are internationally domiciled. And finally, what are students studying? The most common field of study is business administration and law, where one in five students are studying business administration and law, and secondly, health and welfare. So that was an overview of the student profile in Ireland, but how are students actually doing? Overall, we see that 9% of new entrants do not progress into the second year of their studies. Non-progression is particularly high in services and ICTs at 16% and 15% respectively. Education has the lowest non-progression rate, and this is at 3%. When we look at it by gender, what we find is that males are more likely to not progress compared to females. And finally, overall, when we talk about completion, three in four students on average will complete their studies. Finally, nine months after graduation, what are graduates doing? 76% are in employment and 14% are in further study. 60% of graduates say that their course is relevant to their job, and 37% are earning between 25,000 to 35,000 euros nine months after graduation. By contract type, 64% are on permanent or open-ended contracts, and 21% are on fixed-term contracts. Education tends to have the highest employment rates, while arts and humanities tend to have the lowest employment rates. So that was a very quick overview of the data and statistics that are available on the HA website. But of course, for further information and to read the full reports, please go to www.ha.ie or scan the QR code you see on the bottom right hand corner to go straight to the statistics. Thanks for listening.